What's up guys? Just got back from vacation yesterday, so this is the first video I've recorded in two weeks. So I do apologize if I am a little rusty. Now I have a few important things I want to go over, but I'll save them for the end of the video. So if you don't want to hear them, you can just click off after the review is over. But I highly recommend that you stay and listen because like I said, they are some pretty important topics. But let's get into today's suggestion video. Thank you for the suggestion, Disney Cars Boy. I really do appreciate it. I always love Love doing these variation reviews of World Grand Prix racers. So without any further ado, let's go on with the review. As you guys probably know, Max Schnell is the German racer in the World Grand Prix. He never spoke in the movie, but he did actually speak in the German version of the movie. And as you guys may also know, Several countries got their own unique version of Cars 2, which simply means that in the Tokyo party scene where Lightning McQueen is talking to Lewis Hamilton and Jeff Gorvette, Jeff Gorvette is replaced by a different racer that represents that specific country. Now you may be wondering, why did they do that? Well, it's all about relating to the audience. If you're in America, you most likely related to the movie because you know who Jeff Gordon is. But if you're not in America and have no clue who Jeff Gordon is, then there's no relation. So what Disney Pixar did was replace Jeff Corvette with a racer that the viewers in that specific country would probably recognize. So let me give you guys an example. In the Australian version of Cars 2, Frosty replaces Jeff Gorvette. Frosty is based off of the real-life Australian racer Mark Winterbottom. Now, I personally had no clue who Mark Winterbottom was until just a few years ago, but if you live in Australia, you most likely knew who he was before you saw Cars 2. And in my opinion, it's ingenious. I feel like it was a great idea that Disney Pixar did that. Now granted, they didn't do it for every single country, but that would be nearly impossible because not every country has a racer that's recognizable. So in this case with Max Schnell in the German version of Cars 2, Sebastian Schnell is the real life racer and Max Schnell replaces Jeff Corvette. Hopefully that all made sense. If you have any questions, let me know. I do apologize for rambling on. So now let's get on with the variations of Max Schnell. Currently there are seven variations of Max Schnell. The regular one, rubber tires, silver, neon, ice, carbon, and most recently, the Carnival Racer Max Schnell, but unfortunately, I won't be reviewing that one in this video because it has only been found in Australia. So when I do get that one, I will be reviewing it along with the other new Carnival Racers. So let's go on with regular Max Schnell. I won't spend too much time on him because I'm sure you guys already know what he looks like. He's got the WTCL logo on the hood there, which I assume is some sort of racing league he's a part of. On the side, there's a World Grand Prix and all in all logo, the typical World Grand Prix emblem with the German flag and number four. He's got yellow, red, and black stripes going across his body, which are obviously from the German flag. On the back here, we can see World Grand Prix, the German flag off to the right, and the World Grand Prix emblem with his number and the German flag again. And last but not least is his plastic spoiler, which reads World Grand Prix. And that is all for Max Schnell, the regular version. Not my favorite racer, probably one of my least favorites actually. Just kind of boring in my opinion compared to some of the other racers. Here's Max Schnell with rubber tires. I only have this one in the package. I actually got it quite recently. And I do intend on keeping it in the package because it is exactly the same as a regular Max Schnell, but instead of having plastic tires, he has rubber tires. Now these were exclusive to Kmart for the collector's event. 
kind of nice to have. I only just recently started collecting them. Here we have Silver Racer Max Schnell. He was originally released exclusively to Kmart for the 2012 fall event. I actually have that one in the package. As you can see, Kmart Silver Racers. And then he was re-released a part of the Walmart exclusive line in 2015. Also have that one in the package as well. I don't know how I accumulated all these silver Max Schnells, but I do know that the Kmart one that I showed this one right here was on sale for $1.40 at Kmart quite recently. So check your Kmarts. The entire business is probably going to go out of business because they aren't doing so well. But let's go on with a regular Silver Max Chanel here. As you can see, exactly the same decals except all the purple is silver and he is a unibody. This Max Chanel is not a unibody. You can see there's a line separating the main body from the moth plate. I do believe if you walked into a store and found a 2016 or 2015 Max Chanel, it is a unibody, but I don't have one of those. And the only other difference is that the expression is a little bit different as you can see. Silver Racer Max Schnell has a much more determined expression there with his eyelids going right straight across whereas the original Max Schnell is a little bit more relaxed and calm. Just to show the decals, like I said, they are exactly the same but one of my favorite Max Schnells actually is the Silver Racer one. It looks pretty nice, a lot of silver unlike some of the other Silver Racers. Up next is Neon Racer Max Schnell. He was originally released as a Target exclusive in 2014, but re-released in late 2015 at Kmart. Now it doesn't specify on the package that it's exclusive to Kmart, so it may show up at other stores as well. Now this is my absolute least favorite version of Max Schnell. His decals are almost identical to the ones on the original Max Schnell. As you can see, they're just brighter, made to look neon. And it's kinda cool, but this is the neon race, right? Well then, why does he have World Grand Prix and all in all decals on the side? All in all should be completely annihilated and the World Grand Prix is over, so this just shows Mattel being lazy. Now I can kind of understand with Silver Racer Max Schnell back there because that was kind of like a special edition. Although when they did the Walmart line on the back of the package, they called it a separate transcontinental race. So technically the decals on that one should be removed as well, but I'll let that one slide. However, with the neon version here, there definitely should not be any World Grand Prix or all in all decals. He does have red rims, which, you know, kind of nice and exotic. Other than that, very, very similar to the original version. Although this is like a metallic version of Max Chanel, as you can see, the paint is metallicalized, which looks nice. I wish the Toys R Us line with metallic racers included this one, unfortunately. They only released a few. I don't know about you guys, but Ice Racer Max Schnell is probably my favorite version so far. Just really like the snow design on him and all the blue that they added. As you can see on the hood, instead of the WTCL logo, we now have the Ice Cup logo. The expression is basically the same. We see a bunch of snowflakes and detailing along the side. A completely white base instead of being black white snow tires, and nice blue rims as well. Still number four, of course. Below the number four in red, there are actually some Russian characters, but they are very, very faint, and with the snow, it's very hard to see. On the spoiler here, he has number four on either side. It's the first time they actually added a decal to the spoiler with the silver, neon, and regular version. The side of the spoiler was just blank. 
the WTCL logo has actually been moved to the spoiler on the Transcontinental Racers. They usually actually have the name of the race on the spoiler because with the carbon one right here, it says CRC, which stands for Carbon Racer Cup. So it's kind of interesting that they put the WTCL logo there instead. I don't mind. Very, very nice racer. One of my favorites, actually. Like I said, probably my favorite, Max Schnell. On the back here, you can see some Russian characters, the Ice Cup logo on the left, and some snow detailing as well. Very, very nice. Just love the attention to detail on the snow with this guy. Just you know, amazing. To conclude, here we have Carbon Racer Max Schnell. Now, the Disney Store actually made a version of Carbon Max as well. I have yet to review him, but I definitely will in the future. I cannot wait to compare them because, as you can see, they are very, very different. So now moving back to the Mattel version of Carbon Racer Max, he has the Carbon Racer logo there on the hood. Very nice and simple, showing off the trophy there. Now wherever you see these gray stripes, I guess you can say, is where carbon plating has been applied. So on the hood, eyelid right there a portion of the roof, a little bit of the back, and the spoiler. Not as much as I would expect. Nice red and silver rims right there. He also has this nice yellow outline going around the fenders and the front bumper. Still has his yellow, red, and black stripes. CRC4 right there. CRC obviously stands for Carbon Racer Cup. We got the Transcontinental Race of Champions logo right there. And there is the German flag, and below it, it says MS4, which stands for Max Schnell 4. On the side of the spoiler, we have the number 4 again, just like with the Ice Racers version of Max. But this time on the spoiler, it actually says CRC with a little checkered flag. So, this is the first version of Max Schnell that completely abandons the WTCL League. Kind of surprising actually, but you know, it's a small detail and I don't really mind. On the back here we can see CRC again, the German flag, and the Carbon Cup logo. Very, very nice. I still think my favorite version of Max is the Ice Racer version, but maybe the Carnival Racer version will actually be better. Just some final notes about Team Max in general. Here we have the metallic Micro Drifter Max Schnell, exclusive to a Toys R Us multi-pack that included some other metallic World Grand Prix racers as Micro Drifters as well. Pretty nice. See you later, Max. Here we have Autobahn, Max Schnell's crew chief, released at the beginning of the year. Here we also have Max Schnell's Pity, yet to be released, should be released pretty soon, although I do believe I heard someone found him in Australia, so hopefully he'll be hitting worldwide stores soon. If you'd like to see my review of him, there is a link for that review in the description below. And now here we have Max Schnell's hauler. I believe his name is pronounced Jorg. It's spelled J-O-R-G. Now, I know someone commented on one of my previous videos how to correctly pronounce his name, but I completely forgot at this point. I believe it is Jorg, though. That's what Siri told me. Very nice hauler. And here we have Max Schnell's a launcher release way back in 2011 five years ago. Put Max Schnell in here and you would press this all no cam, but if I did that, my camera would fly across the room. So I'll just kind of demonstrate without actually doing so. I actually just recently got the Max Schnell launcher in the package. Pretty nice indeed. Sorry if you hear rain in the background. It sounds like it's storming outside right now. In the comment section below, let me know what version of Max Schnell is your favorite. My favorite is the Ice Racer version. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy and thank you Disney Cars Boy for the suggestion. I hope the video lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be and I'll see you guys all on Monday for another video. The reason why I'm uploading on Monday is because there's a birthday request on Tuesday. 
Now for all of you who want to hear me talk about some things, stay tuned. So to start off, thank you guys so much for all the support you gave me while I was on vacation. I couldn't even keep up with replying to all the comments, so I replied to them all yesterday, but if I did miss your comment, if I did not reply to it, just let me know. Say, hey RC, I commented on Team Leakless, but you never replied, and I'll gladly check your comment out and reply to it. That is, if it's still there. So this leads me into my second discussion topic. Comments disappearing vanishing, gone, boom, they're just gone. It's not even funny though at this point because it's very important for the comments to be there, especially on my Q&A because that's where most people ask their questions. And when 75% of the comments are just poof, gone, I can't refer back to that video to take screenshots of the comments. And especially since I was on vacation because Sometimes I couldn't even take a screenshot of the comment before it disappeared. It's very, very unfortunate. I have many people to vouch for it. And you yourself, go try to check one of my previous videos over the past two weeks and see if your comment is still there. There is a 75% chance that it is not. Very, very unfortunate. I contacted YouTube about it and they're giving me some lying about blah 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 it didn't really help me at all and it's definitely a youtube glitch i can't do anything about it i'm obviously not deleting your comments guys don't worry i had someone really getting upset that thinking that i deleted their comment but no i definitely did not delete any of your guys's comments unless it's inappropriate of course so just wanted to let you guys know about that and maybe you also know this this second thing here my view count on my Luigi's Rollick and Roadsters video went down from like 250 to zip, zero, yep, no, no views, yeah. They just went down, I have no clue what happened there. YouTube, are you just trying to rob me of everything now? What's next, subscribers? So, yeah, that's all for today, guys. I'm sorry if I kind of put you in a bad mood, but I really had to get that off my chest and explain to you maybe why I didn't reply to your comment because maybe you're thinking, hey, I, rep I made a comment on Team Leakless and uh, you never replied to me. And it's like, I, I just didn't because it wasn't there. And that's really what happened because I checked all my videos when I got home yesterday, make sure there weren't any comments that I didn't reply to. And I replied to all the ones that were there, so I do apologize again, and I hope you guys can understand. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye now!